Yo, what is up guys? Methods here bringing you guys a new video. And today we have an uplink domination. I was using the PDW with I think stock and silencer. I'm pretty sure. No, stock and fast mag, silencer, fast mag, whatever you want to call it. But that's besides the point. Today I have my teammate Realize with me. Realize, hey, what's up? Yo, what is up guys? So basically today we have a team announcement. Before we get to that, um, as you guys know, my new team is now me, Realize, Stainville, and Heist. You know, Realize, so far, what do you think of the squad? I mean, I really like the squad. Obviously, I'm going to like it or we wouldn't be teaming. But uh, it's just like the thing about the squad is all four of us, like, you wouldn't see as a team together. Like, the names just don't look like they mesh well at all. And it's, like, completely the opposite. We mesh so well together, and we've been playing absolutely amazing, and I'm really liking it. Yeah, one, one thing I do notice is that we, we tend to complain a lot when we start losing, which is sort of our downfall. And I feel like if we fix that, we'll be a lot better. But I want to tell you guys, um, we're now officially part of D.A.R.E. As you guys know, we had no team name, and, you know, we were just looking for an org and team to represent. And, you know, D.A.R.E. hit us up. And in case you guys don't know who D.A.R.E. is, I'll put their links in the description. You know, they're a pretty big sniping team, and I'm proud to be a part of them. I can officially say I've been a part of three huge sniping teams, Sore, Faze, and D.A.R.E. But, you know, realize so far, what do you think of D.A.R.E. and, you know, how they've been treating us? Uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, they, they've been welcoming us, welcoming us pretty well. I mean, we just got on the team, like, a couple hours ago, but they, they're pretty nice. Farrell is a really cool guy. I met him yeah. at, uh, both Anaheim and Dallas, and he's pretty cool. Yeah, so, I mean, um, I do feel bad for the former team, though, Folsom, Sham, Legend, and Wolf, but, you know, it's a business, you know, Folsom and Sham are my boys, and, you know, I would never you know, try to screw up their opportunities and stuff, but you know, Dare hit me up, I thought it was a good offer, and I said yes, so I'm pumped to be playing for Dare, we will be attending uh, UMG Atlanta, which is an event in August, um, obviously in Atlanta, Georgia, the full squad will be there, and you know, realize, what are your expectations for that event with our team? To be honest, what I want to see from us is a top three placing for the fact that it's a UMG, so it's not as big as an MLG event. And I do think we're top, like, we're top eight material at an MLG event. And I do feel like we have the capability to win. So I really do want to see top three. I really don't expect anything less from us. Yeah, um, especially for our first events together. I mean, you can expect first, but, you know, as a, as a team, you know, being formed, you know, only four days ago and only, you know, about a month going into UMG, you can't expect us to be, you know, better than these huge teams, for example, Complexity, who've been together for quite some time, winning two events, but, you know, we're going to try our best, and I think we can do it, I mean, we haven't went over anything yet, such as, you know, Strategies and Search and Destroy, CTF, or Hardpoint, and, you know, we've been playing pretty well, I mean, I think we only lost about two or three series overall, and we've been playing, you know, pretty amazing, and, you know, so, like, what do, what do you think of, you know, this team and our play styles? Do you think it matches? Like, if you could compare our team's play style to one team, who would, who would you choose? Uh, I, we have a lot of aggression, so I would like to say, I mean, I can't really even say, I would say complexity, because that's the closest team I can kind of compare it to, because they have the aggression of, they got Aches and uh, Krim that just play so aggressive, and I think that's kind of like me, you, and Heist, except we have three people that do it instead of just two. Because, you know, we really don't have a set, like, hill player. Like, they kind of have, like, TP, who just mainly plays OBJ. We just have, like, three slayers that just go nuts on people. Exactly. Um, you know, I'm really pumped for this team. You know, I, I felt like, um, you know, that this team wouldn't really wouldn't work. I really wouldn't mesh well. And, you know, I think me and you were totally wrong. I felt like me and you playing with, you know, these players together, we felt like this really wouldn't work and we're wasting our time. But, I mean, we played together. Stainville's a beast they are. And I actually imagine Stainville would be totally different. He's actually a really cool guy. He actually talked a lot more than I thought he did. And, uh, you know, I'm happy to be teamed with the guy. And, you know, Heist is overall an animal. I, I feel like you doubted Heist. Talk, talk about Heist real quick. I, I did doubt Heist. But, they, I mean, I did I did have a good reason for doubting him, and I knew he was a beast because we played him at Dallas. If, like, people didn't know, I was, when I was on VVV, we played them for our first match ever, and he went off. I'm pretty sure he dropped, like, 40 in hardpoint and, like, 13 in S&D, and he was just absolutely destroying us. So then I thought he was, like, a beast. And then, at, come Anaheim, he didn't play the best in respawn game types. I'm guessing he, I mean, you told me he had some stuff going on, that yeah. he just wasn't in, like, a great yeah, mood. Yeah, basically, um... He, he did something wrong, and then he thought that the team was mad at him, like really mad at him, and he just didn't want to be there. I mean, I can understand that. You know, when your teammates and your people are mad at you, you're like, you know, I don't want to be here right now. I, I want to be home and things like that. So he played really well in Search and Destroy because that's sort of more of an individual game type, in my opinion. Obviously, there's a lot of strategy and teamwork, but, you know, that's a game where one player can drop 12 kills and go nuts. And I feel like Heist just really wasn't there at Anaheim, and I trust the guy so much because he's such a good player, and he has that raw talent. And 
I can't wait for the next MLG events because he's improving day by day. You know, he started off, um, you know, sniping. And the fact that he went from, you know, a great sniper making phase and joining phase and being this prominent sniper to being a pro competitive player, I mean, that's honestly just incredible. Yeah, I think it's pretty crazy that he was just a sniper. And I remember him in Modern Warfare 3. He wasn't the biggest name, but I remember he just started out playing. I was like, there's no way this kid like this is just going to go from sniping to yeah, being good. I actually met like, I've been playing pickups. I used to play with, uh, you know, Raided and the Optic crew. And just, just playing for pubs and pickups. You know, Negrito, Bandito, Wizzy, Red, Raided. Uh, you know, that whole crew. And Heist used to play. And, you know, his gun skill was so good. But he really just didn't know how to play. And he decided, you know, I'm going to play competitive. And if you were to tell me a couple months ago I'd be playing with a sniper from FaZe and competitive, I'd probably laugh in your face and just slap you in your mouth. <laughs> I'd probably do the exact same because, I don't know, i just never seen it. i never seen a sniper going into competitive being a pro player. Yeah, one thing I think about this team is that we all actually like each other in-game and outside of the game. So basically, like... It's not one of those teams where, you know, you only talk in game and, you know, you can't stand your teammates talking to them casually. I feel like this team was a lot different and we actually like each other, which is good for, you know, in game and outside game just to, you know, have a good time with your team. And, you know, and I feel like, um, you know, we just have a lot of fun together. I mean, even when we get mad, at the, end of the get, at the end of the day, we're all laughing together and we're having a good time. So, I mean, what do you think of this team personality wise as a team? You know, not necessarily skill. But the way, you know, we sort of just play together in, in our chemistry as of now. I mean, I like you said, I think we all get along and, like, we're, we're probably going to be really good friends by the, kind of like, time we're teaming for a couple months. And I really, I really enjoy that because I haven't had that with most of my teams. And the main thing that just I didn't expect was Stainville. Uh, Stainville is the complete opposite person of what I thought he was going to be. I thought he was going to be some quiet, like, not outspoken, just get on, we're going to be playing now and... Do this, do that, and we'll be the. And then when we're done, then we, he just gets off. He doesn't do that though. He's the complete opposite. He's just like he's actually got a really good sense of humor. He talks a lot, and he's just not. He's not quiet in game. I'm not gonna lie. This may sound fanboyish, but if you told me a year ago I'd be teaming with Stainbow from Envy, I'd probably <laughs> spit in your face and kick you in your jaw. <laughs> I would probably. I would be like, there's no way. I think I'm good at the game. I'm cocky as hell, but there's no way I'm teaming with the legend Stainbow. Yeah, I mean, like Here's to be <laughs> honest, like when when he left Envy and I DM'd him, like you know, let's play. I didn't act. I didn't expect him to reply. I, I like. I, I feel like he would think that would be a downgrade. But you know, he realized the potential we have and how good we actually were the first couple of days. For example, the first couple of days we played, we played Impact, NV, Curse, Unite. We played extremely well, and he felt extremely confident. So, um, you know, I'm glad that Heist has the confidence back. The thing with Heist is he doesn't give himself enough credit. He sort of um, sort of looks down on himself and really doesn't feel like he's that good. But in all honesty. He's the best at getting streaks I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, and he even like said today, he was like, "This team is just so easy to get like streaks with." I feel like I'm so much, I'm so much like it's so much easier to get streaks with this team. It's just easier to play how you want. That's what I like about the team the most, though, is because we can all do what we want. Like yeah. Daneville can now run an AR. I can just roam the map and get kills. Ice does what he has to do, and you do what you have to do, and like we just play. Exactly, and when people like. When people, one people, uh, you know, people sort of, you know, say, you guys aren't really doing too well online, for example, if we lose one scrim. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's online, and online, you really can't judge that much. Even though we, we rarely lose online, you know, it's just one of those things where LAN is totally different. And, you know, some people have the connection of the Greek gods, and you really can't kill them. So, you know, we do get mad in game, and it's sort of something that really can't control just because, you know, it's it's anger issues. Like, I have anger issues when it comes to gaming just because of online and, you know, how BS I get. And you have them too, don't even front. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm not saying so, I don't. So, you know, we do complain a bit, but if we can fix that, we'll be, we'll be pretty good. But this gameplay is coming to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I think I dropped about, yeah, 88 kills and um, was at three deaths. So I thank you guys for watching. Make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And myself, realize I'll catch you guys later. Peace.